and welcome. New last year from Tax TV. Uh, what a weekend. Clean sheet. Uh, some changes being made. So again, we can uh, delve into it. Even after match four, uh, some changes to the to the team lineup. Maybe a few eyebrows being raised and that, but we'll get into it. First off, looking at the situation with the goalkeeper being highly documented about what had been going off as regards to, you know, fans forum where some people are questioning uh, Gabby Salina. Again, we're it going to be one of them where we're going to stick with him. But no, uh, big statement, big call by the club, I think, as well, um, regarding that situation. So, Killipin goal, which was, you know, fair play, a change had been made. Probably another surprise was, or maybe not a surprise, but I call it art keep it as it was for Jorgen Nathan. I thought he had a decent game, but credit where credit's due. We're on the changes, bringing in Max Waters. Again, we'll, we'll get on about Max in a minute. But we brought him in Max Waters, still played uh, Keely Dunn, and obviously Umfraz as well. So again, pretty strong forward attacking line, if I'm being honest. Obviously, no Adam Phillips heart. It's a slight kind of injury. But apart from that, it was more or less as it was, you know. Uh, Pines coming in because of Earl picking up his suspension. Could it be, could it still be, it looked like Roberts were more playing out in left position of, of, of a three. And again, could it be, could it still. Um, this should be really testers. Not really. Um... If I would it looked like that we were the home side, which was pleasing for for a Barnsley fan and a great following as always. But looking how we set up and how we approach game, we're looking not to be more goals up. In my opinion, anyway, um, the amount of attacking threats. I liked how we also played the like high line and we kept, uh, catching them offside as well. Again, something else I think have been worked on. But Killip, did he have to do much? He didn't, but when he did, he came into it pretty well. Good distribution. Pulled off a, a decent save. But apart from that, I don't think he really got his shape mucky, which, full credit where credit's due, got to give out to the defensive line set up, uh, not allowing Shrewsby to hurt us as much. Again, you look at midfield, I thought Russell had a good game. I thought, uh, I thought he wanted contenders to be... Uh, man at match in my opinion um, I thought it were going to be Vera or Vera Bartz and you won't fire off to be fair but you look at the first half again for me what it what it surprised that it won one note up it won't it'd been frustrating if it wouldn't have been but what a what a a volley what a what a Russell caught it perfect and just before half time as well. So again, it was one of them where it was a, it was a, a game where we could have, I think, if we did dominate, we did have chances, but with a clinical, a debatable, having a lot of possession, which is good to see, away from home especially, uh, that possession based and, you know, taking game to Shrewsbury. Half time, what are you going to make in the changes? Back of my mind, I'm thinking, I hope you don't, I just hope it goes a bit flow. And what was it? A minute or two, a couple of minutes into the game, most. 2 0. Max Waters. Great confidence boost. Good to see him back on the squad sheet again. Having come off uh, in midweek, uh, come on in midweek, uh, sorry, and getting an equaliser. So what a confidence boost it is for that lad. Um, and again, more at second half. Yeah, you're going to expect Shrewsbury to try and fetch game to us. We didn't make a couple of substitutions, try and alter it and try and, you know, hurt us kind of thing. But in fairness, did they? I don't think they really did. Really, I don't think they really did. And again, you look at table, you look where Shrewsbury, I know disrespect, you can see... 
you know, the Shrewsbury Town fans weren't happy. You know, they made it well known to Paul Warhurst at full time <clears throat> and even at half time, to be fair. Um, and again, for me, it was a more of a, a pleasing, well, 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 three positives from this. A win, obviously. A clean sheet. But more importantly, kind of performance where we are taking the game to him and more of a threat. Again, you look at the overall picture. If you'd have come away with a win and it'd been 2 1, you said, Yeah, we've gone away with a 2 1 win, we, we move on. But when you, when you can pick out so many positives from this game, you know, a clean sheet wouldn't be a good confidence boost. A win and now we dominated and now we took the game to him. Again, for me, that were that were a pleasing aspect on 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 this man at match. Again, Max Waters. It was great seeing him back on <clears throat> sorry back on pitch. You're looking at Russell. I was looking at Matt Roberts and how he had to move up position yet still kept a solid unit. You know where. <clears throat> um, with Pines and Degivney again, it was it were a solid, it were a solid line, and that I press that I line that we're playing. So I'll go to give credit to Matt Roberts, Georgie Gent. Could see him carrying on, continuing to improve. Luke Coral seems to be more gained to his stride. Again, there's a lot more positives going forward, but my man at matches. It's got to be this guy. It's got to be this guy, Max Waters. Again, for it brings a bit it brings a bit more to game, I think, than Sam Cosgrove at this current time. He seems to have got that knack of getting where the goal is like now. So a bit of a confidence boost for that lad, having been out injured. He runs and chases his socks off more than Cosgrove, because Cosgrove is more of an old up the ball kind of person for Knox. For me, Max Potter's been a bit more to the game where it's he'll run it down, he'll press it down, he'll close more than what Cosgrove did, uh, does. So for me, at this moment in time, you're looking at that op them options up there. We've got Max Waters, Humphreys, David Keeler Dunn. It's not a bad trio at minute. You then got to think about Adam Phillips when he comes into it. Is that going to alter where one or other two? Because he'll probably play Keeler Dunn. Is he going to is he going to rest Waters or Humphreys? I think it's going to be a big ask if we're in this form of fetching Phillips straight back into it for a. He might have to come on bench for me. But again, let me know your thoughts. Be interested as always. Let me know your thoughts and comments about the game. How we played, you know, that momentum, that desire, that possession based that we know we can do. Again, unscripted as always, unscripted. Just go with what we say, how we see it, go with the flow. Oh, we have a good weekend now. Mine's certainly a better weekend where your balls are win. Um, and performance like that. Let's hope we can keep it building, keep it building, because when you look at it now, you're looking League One, we're starting to develop, you know, 10, 10 maybe 12 teams in League One, all in with a shout. A few teams up there as well, Wickham Wonders, you know, look where they are in League. <clears throat> Both Wrexham and Birmingham, you know, drew. So again, very competitive. We need to keep on doing what we are doing. Please like, subscribe and share. Comment away as well. Um, I will answer all comments. The only place that uh, originally started from, one thing left to say, you Reds. <laughs>